Prince William and Kate are headed across the pond this weekend for a royal visit to Canada. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will spend the next week on a tour of our neighbor up in the north. They have a packed schedule visiting seven different communities throughout the country. Also in tow, believe it or not, their little ones. They brought Prince George and Princess Charlotte. And with us now to give us a preview of the trip is CBSN royal contributor Victoria Arbiter. Victoria, thank you for joining us. So you don't think of Canada as an important uh, country necessarily to England. But why is this visit important and what will they be doing? It's really very important to the monarchy. Canada is the largest of the Commonwealth realms. And if all goes according to plan, one day William and George will both be King of Canada. So this trip really is an opportunity for the couple to deepen their relationship with Canada, to really get to know these communities. And so they're focused on having a very informal, relaxed tour schedule. They will highlight the charitable causes that they're particularly interested in, mental health, the welfare of young people, the military, and addiction is certainly a big issue for Kate in particular. But we'll also see them embrace the great outdoors, which is their personal passion. So there's going to be fun trips to uh, Great Bear Rainforest. They'll take an aerial tour, and there's going to be a fishing expedition expedition when we'll no doubt see their competitive side come out. She's a really good competitor, I have to say. I enjoy watching her uh, go after that. I want to ask you, though, about the, the kids, because they really I'm surprised at how protective they've been and able to keep them away from cameras. Do you think we'll get to see them? We are definitely going to get to okay. see them, and that really is where the enthusiasm is coming from with this tour in particular. William and Kate were in Canada in 2011, but this time the added bonus of the children is really causing a lot of excitement. So we know that we'll see them uh, at arrival and departure, and aides have intimated that we will see them next Thursday. There's going to be a, a children's party for military families hosted at government house. That's where George made his debut in New Zealand in 2014 at a very similar event. But Charlotte really is the one that's drawing the most excitement because in her young 16-month life she's only been seen in a public capacity three times so this is going to be an opportunity to see her toddling around and George has certainly been great value for money in terms of how entertaining he is so <laughs> we've got quite a double act now they have been so protective of their kids in general do people in London adhere to the strict rules about videotaping you know we have strict rules with the president's children here in the US but do people tend to adhere to that people have been very accommodating in terms of William and Kate's desire for privacy but that's because William and Kate have taken a zero tolerance policy it's tricky because while they've got a great control in the UK the post Levinson inquiry which was dealing with the phone hacking instance from earlier years has made the privacy laws really very stringent but the greater issue is the international media so photographs that have not been published in the UK have come out online in Australia, in the US, in Europe. And so that becomes very frustrating for the couple. Even when they were in Australia, they had given tremendous access to George, and yet on their day off, there were paparazzi photos mm -hmm. taken. So it's an ongoing battle. But for William and Kate, it's about finding the balance. Of course, there's interest. George is the future king, but he's also a child. Yeah. So they've got to strike a happy medium. Victoria Arbiter, so good to see you on set here. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good to see you too. Thank you for joining us.